Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road, and today my UNESCO World Heritage Journey is at the Loire Valley in central France. This World Heritage Site covers 200 kilometers of the Loire River in central France, and it's one of the most quintessentially French areas of the entire country. The river is lined with chateaus and vineyards, fortresses and little towns and it's absolutely picture perfect. Let's have a look around. Behind me is the magnificent Chateau de Chambord and it's the largest chateau in all of France. It was constructed in the early 16th century by King Francis I and it blends medieval structures with Renaissance style. It's very, very beautiful. And they reckon as well that Leonardo da Vinci himself had a hand in designing parts of it. So although it's tempting to think of this place as a halfway point between a medieval castle with its turrets and walls and bastions and a Renaissance villa with its large windows and beautiful ornate decorations, but it's actually entirely the latter. All of the medieval castle decorations are actually just that, they're decorations and would never withstand any sort of assault. It wasn't designed to keep the king safe or anything like that. And I also love the roof of it. It's just designed to be intricate, ornate, and to actually look like a city, which in many ways this place was. And at the top of it all, the Fleur de Lis, the symbol of the King of France. So the Loire is actually the longest river in France at just over a thousand kilometers. And it's known as the last wild river in Europe because there's no dams or locks to manage the flow. It just kind of meanders its way from the center of France all the way to the Atlantic. And that also means that there's no cruise ships or cargo barges or anything like that. It's just river and local traffic. Behind me, you can see the Chateau de Chenonceau, one of the most famous chateaus in the whole valley. And this is actually quite a recent addition to the World Heritage List. Now the building itself was built on the site of a water mill from the 11th century, but it was actually constructed in the early 16th century, around the same time as Castle Chambord. Now, it was built by a nobleman, not by the king, but it's most well known for a beautiful bridge across the Cher River, constructed on the orders of Catherine de Medici, the Queen Regent of France. So this is the Grand Ballroom here in chenon -So and it's in the section of the chateau that goes over the river. Now it's actually really fascinating because it was built after the rest of the chateau on the orders of Catherine de' Medici. And during the First World War, it was actually home to a hospital that looked after wounded soldiers from the front. And even more fascinating is that during the Second World War, at that end of the building was Nazi France, and this side was Free France, and members of the resistance would go to and fro secretly across this room. It's a really fascinating place here and I've really enjoyed it, checking out the beautiful chateaus and the incredible gardens as well because they were quite groundbreaking for their time. And there's around 200 chateaus in the Loire Valley and it would take you, I think, a lifetime to see them all properly and sadly, I don't have that kind of time as much as I would like to. But when you see all these chateaus and you realise that the majority of them were only used very, very infrequently, it really makes you think about how the resources of the time were used, money and manpower, 
and then drawing a link from there to the French Revolution only a century or so later. Just a little food for thought, I think. But that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road, and I'll see you at the next World Heritage Site.